Okay, so we are back. Like, share, and subscribe. My name is Pontiana, and this is episode three. And we're just going to continue talking about the shit we've been talking about, which is being illuminated with who we are down at down at the core. And on the last episode, we spoke about culture freedom. So this episode, we're going to talk about confidence, self-love, and justice. We're going to finish it off. Okay, so confidence, confidence. Okay, confidence is a big thing because confidence is honestly a journey. It's, it's like a thing that I fought with. But honestly, as I move forward on my journey, what I'm starting to learn is that without confidence, it all goes void. Without confidence, it all goes void. Because it's like lack of confidence is a blockage. It's blocking you from being the whole of who you are. And with confidence, we're also able to wither a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to say a little story. Okay, so my ex, right? I remember when I was going through... Okay, so I'm here to illuminate a lot of truths. And that's what we're going to speak about on this podcast. Everything is just really raw. Everything is just really straight to the point. I'm going to talk about the shit people are scared to talk about. Because it, it has to be said. And I ain't scared. I'm not. Been through too much to be scared. Right? I just keep hearing my ancestors say... If it's not you, then who? I hate this microphone. Let's see. I just keep hearing my ancestors say, if it's not you, then who? Because for the specific, for the specific, okay, so. For the specific journey that I'm on, for the specific things that I want to accomplish, if not who, if not me, then who? For the specific things that you want to accomplish or that you're supposed to accomplish, if not you, right, then who? For real, though. If you're not the one that's going to accomplish it, then who? For my situation, if not me, then who? That's confidence. Because what a lot of people are going to do is, because a lot of people don't have vision. Very gifted, very intuitive. They're able to see what you're doing, right? They're able to psychically tap into what you're doing. 
and try to follow trends. Or try to do something before you do it. Because you're an artist. You're an artist. You're an artiste. You're a creator. And for people that like vision, people that lack inspiration and drive, they feed off of that. They feed off of people that have that light in them. Why? Because they're too scared to face their fucking demons. Greedy, selfish motherfuckers. Nah. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. For instance, I was talking to this guy. I love, okay, so. <laughs> Dating as a material girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm blushing and shit. Oh wow. Dating as a material girl is so heavenly. <laughs> Dating as a material girl is happening. Because you got options, girl. You got so many... You got so many good options that... Girl, boy... Whatever you do. You got so many p options as a material girl, a material boy, that the universe literally beckons at your call. It's like, you must not know about me. I can have another you by tomorrow. Matter of fact, you'll be here by tomorrow. Yeah, dig me. Yeah, dig me. It's like that. <laughs> it's really like that and now I have a, ch a chance to finally chill I'm not focused on a relationship I get to flirt I get to talk to these intelligent intellectual men that are able to actually bring value to my life intellectually and help me grow. And yeah, I'm open to a relationship if it's like if it if it opens up, but I'm just no longer looking for that. Cause I found it within me. And when I found it within me, it's like the universe was like, oh well, bitch, now that you're sitting on your throne, here you go. Which one do you want? And I said, hold on. Can I say hold on? And they said, of course, it's your show. It's her story. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 And 
Mason, hold on. It's her story. Yes, you can. And I said, okay, cool. This is what I'm going to do with them. We're just going to be friends. Thing about it is I have a king. Now, let me tell you who my king is. Who he be. I'm not going to get emotional. Because this is a touchy subject. Because I, on my spiritual journey, have gone through a huge remembrance of who I am. And of what lives that I have lived specifically, even on this reincarnation. And I realized that my autonomy as my, my spiritual autonomy as a trans woman is two spirit. I am the divine feminine and the divine masculine in one soul body. So if you spiritually understand, really, when the two become one, it turns into three. So you have the two spirits and you have the whole Holy Spirit, the whole trio, which is who I am. I'm the trio. I'm the Holy Spirit and the divine feminine, which is a lot of moon energy. I've lived that life, that lifespan, being very psychic, being very out here, being a bad bitch, being about her money, manifesting, all that, right? And divine masculine, I've lived that lifestyle as a man that was okay with who he is. A happy man, a gay man. <laughs> Oh, jokes aside. But what I understood at a deep spiritual level was that, whoa, hold on one minute. There was one and there was one. There was the sun and there was the moon. And now there's the earth. All, curvy, all curvy and all that, right? That's the, yo, my body, my cells, I've undergone a complete metamorphosis. Like, I have literally experienced three personalities, if that makes sense. Not like I'm multi. And that's the crazy part of our society is because society wants to call it like a sickness, but spiritually it's, it's a power. <laughs> it's a power. And honestly, I'm standing on my power and my spiritual and my, and my freedom to express my spirituality. See, I follow the commandments so they don't play with me. Don't play with me. Because the way I'm working, I'm going I'm to pay a visit to your God, your idol. And tell them, tell your child, don't play with me. Because they think they knew me. But this is a whole completely different beast. Period. So... On top of all that, through each journey that I have had with being the sun, the moon, and the earth, I was always connected to the day star. And the day star connects me to the universe, the cosmos, the planets, the stars. The Universal Collective. Right? 
right? And with that connection, I'm able to have infinite intelligence streaming answers and, 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 and um, information to me, like calls. But it was a process, y'all. So this thing is not, it's not like, how can I say this? If I had woken up, okay, so let's say two years ago, when I first, when I was still thinking material and not with my third eye, right? Let's say we were back then. And I just woke up here. I would die. My head would explode. Like, not even, like, explode. Like, psh, but my brain would, it would be too much information. Light goes. It would be too much at once. And I would literally die. And I say this because the journey, it actually feels like when you're, when I'm, okay, so meditation is the way we get closer to source, right? So meditation is the way we elevate and elevate and elevate. So I meditate every day. Every time I meditate, it knocks the crown. It knocks my crown off a lot of bitches' heads. So, yeah, every time we meditate, it gets us closer to source, and it feels like a rushing wind of water just flowing. It feels so good. You feel light. You feel disconnected from the material. It's like ecstasy. That's how people want to feel all the time but don't want to put in the work to feel like that so they want to siphon energy off of somebody that is working so hard to reach their altitudes wrong girl come over here you're gonna learn a hard lesson you learn you gonna learn a hard lesson anti who